Yo book nerds, it is now Advent and I am a Christian and so this is going to be one of the rare videos where I gear it a little bit towards religion. So if you're not religious, I understand if you don't want to watch this video. Um, but it is Advent and it's a time to prepare for Jesus coming. And um, so I have some book recommendations for Advent, if you're wanting something to kind of gear your mind towards God. I am a Catholic, and so a lot of these recommendations are going to be by Catholic authors. Um, that's just because I am Catholic and I mostly read Catholic authors when it comes to religious stuff. But some of these books I don't think you have to be Catholic to read. Some of it, you could just ignore the like Catholic parts and still enjoy the Christian overtones. And I feel like you could still get a lot out of it. So up first is going to be a book that I read last year. It is Life is Messy by Matthew Kelly. I adore this book. I actually read it twice last year. This book just came to me at the right time. Everyone goes through so much in their life and everyone's story is different. And this book was just great at reminding me that it's okay to not have everything figured out. It's okay to struggle. And it just reminded me to take things as they come. And it's just a very, very beautiful book. And I don't think you necessarily even need to be Christian to read this, let alone Catholic, even though Matthew Kelly is a Catholic author. Um, this was just very geared towards life and living a better life and a more stress-free life and letting go of the little things that we can't control and it's just a, a very beautiful book. Up next I have a book by Pope Francis. It's called Happiness in This Life, A Passionate Meditation on Earthly Existence. This is a book just full of little short blurbs from Pope Francis's teachings, from his homilies, from his speeches, just all about life and it's really nice because um, you can just sit down and read a couple passages and then move on with your day and have that kind of in your mind. And it's very beautifully written. And I personally love Pope Francis. I think he is just awesome. So I highly recommend this work. But there are other books by him too, but I haven't read them yet. But I, I do love this one. There are also a lot of other books by Matthew Kelly that you could check out this advent as well. So the first two books that I mentioned are very easy reads. You can kind of take them in little chunks and just let them marinate and sit with you. Um, if you're looking for something more challenging this advent, something that will really push your mind and make you think, I would highly recommend Contemplative Prayer by Thomas Merton. This book was a challenge for me to get through, but it was very, very thought provoking. And I feel like I really accomplished something when I got through this book. I feel like I learned a lot, even though it really, really, really made me think. Sometimes I had to read passages twice so that I could fully process what was being said. Um, Thomas Merton definitely writes above my level. so. Don't feel bad if it's a challenge for you. It is a very short book and it took me a long time to get through it. But I feel like I learned a lot about prayer and this whole idea that prayer can be embedded throughout your entire life, through whatever you're doing in some way, shape or form. And it's a very beautiful idea. If you have little children in your house, it might be fun to kind of make this a family thing. Um, and pick up like a picture book of saints like this one that I have or there are plenty others out there and just read to your kids or for yourself about some of the saints. I like this edition because they're one page little short stories about saints and their lives and it's nice just to kind of learn a little bit about what they did and it's nice to just read about their lives and how they followed God and there is such a wide variety of saints and it's just comforting to know that some of them especially came from such a hard crazy life 
and turn themselves around. And so no matter where you are on your journey, it's never too late. It's never too late. But there are lots of books out there on saints. And you could even find books about a specific saint and just read that. Um, but this is just the one that I had on my shelf. And my last recommendation for Advent readings is going to be, of course, the Bible. Um, my Bible is really beat up, as you can see. Um, but that just shows how much I've used it. It's been loved on very hard. This translation of the Bible is a good news Bible, and I really like this translation, but there's obviously lots of different translations out there. I think we definitely need to be reading the Bible more, especially Catholics. I feel like Catholics do not read their Bibles as much as they should. Other Christian denominations, I feel like, read their Bible much more than we do, and we need to read our Bible, people. Come on. We do. We do. We need to read it. And honestly, if reading like a full Bible is intimidating for you, you can just read part of it. Read just the Gospels. Read just the New Testament. Honestly, if reading the Bible is still too intimidating for you because of the language, because it just it's too big, it's too complicated, or whatever your reason is that it's intimidating you, honestly, pick up a beginner's Bible or a children's Bible and just start there. Just get familiar with the stories in the Bible with one of these easier forms and then pick up the real thing. Like, there is no shame in working your way up to the actual Bible. Like, honestly. I first read the Beginner's Bible when I was, I don't know, elementary school, junior high, somewhere in there. Um, and then I think I was in junior high or high school when I read the children's Bible and then I was 16 or 17 when I read the good news Bible cover to cover. I still go back and read passages but I actually sat down and read all of these cover to cover at one point in time but seriously no shame in working your way up to the real thing because it can be intimidating. So those are my recommendations for Advent if you are a Christian, especially a Catholic. Just because I'm Catholic, that's why these books were kind of geared towards Catholics, because that's what I know. But I don't want to single anyone out or anything. That's not the intention of this video. Um, I just, I'm just talking about what I know. Let me know what you guys are reading on your Advent journeys. And if you're not Christian, let me know what you're reading for for winter time, for leading up to Christmas. Um, if you don't celebrate Christmas, just what are you reading right now? Just let me know. I am still reading Little Women by Louisa May Alcott and loving it so, so much. Honestly, this is another book that would be very nice to read during Advent because they talk a lot about God in this book. The family that this book follows, the Marches, are some kind of Protestant. I'm not sure what kind of Protestant they are. They do hit on a little bit of Catholicism and so far as of the point I am in the book they handle Catholicism very well. This is a reread for me and I don't remember from my first read through um, if they go back to Catholicism at all but there just are a lot of Christian overtones and themes throughout this book anyway. So also another great reason to read this one during winter and the lead up to Christmas. I hope you guys are having a wonderful week and a wonderful Advent. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next Monday. Thanks for talking books with me.